At Key West 2010, we've got Kevin Coughlin of New England Ropes. I was just asking Kevin, now, if I had a J105 and I needed a new main halyard, how would I approach that? Hey, Craig, what we do is um, really the fiber choice for main halyard, we'll use a uh, product with Dyneema on the inside. Dyneema is very high strength, uh, lightweight, low stretch. And uh, then what we do is we do an overbraid. So a lot of times, given the, uh, the application, we have a sizing chart here uh, in the catalog. So if you go right down to where it says main halyard, and then you go over into uh, boat size, all right, and, uh, and scroll down. It gives us a recommended diameter of uh, 10 mil, which is perfect. That'll work real well in the clutches, all right? And then the, the product uh, of choice for that category is a product called Endura Braid. Endura Braid is a Dyneema double braid. Again, high strength, lightweight, low stretch. Now, Dyneema's come out with some new products. Do you have them on display here? We do, actually. They just came out with a new fiber, SK90. And uh, SK90 is... Um, uh, very high strength, uh, the low stretch, but the modulus is different than the normal, which is SK75. So what that means is that you get a little higher tensile and lower stretch. And so in a given diameter, again, say uh, 10 mil, is that you'll actually have uh, probably a 20 to 30 percent reduction in stretch uh, for that same diameter. So what we do is we actually will make that in a 12 strand form. So uh, you know for control lines and things of that nature. Uh, plus, a lot of boats will also take this 12 strand and uh, put a jacket on it and make their own rope, uh, you know, if it's a heat resistant uh, application. And then, what we also do is we'll just do an over braid. It's kind of like a super endura braid. Uh, we do that in a bunch of different patterns as well for diversity on the, on the boat. Again, what we're finding is that the yield is, is much higher tensile and lower stretch.